Amazon Prime's teaser trailer for The Wheel of Time has the internet humming, and it seems like most people are actually pretty excited for Amazon's adaptation, non-book readers, as well as lifelong fans. Now, while many are breaking down all of the juicy details of what was in the trailer, myself included, I think it's time to do just the opposite. Let's break down all the things that weren't in the trailer that we know will be in the first season of the show. So join me as I take a look at five different things that we didn't see in the Wheel of Time teaser trailer that we can expect to see in the TV show. <laughs> Welcome back to another Wheel of Time video. Today we're going to be hitting on a couple of things that were conspicuously absent from the trailer, but that we also know will be in the show. Now while there are tons of things to speculate over for the purposes of this video, we are only going to talk about the things that we know for sure that will be in the show. But before we dive into all things left out from the trailer, let's first thank the video sponsor, NordVPN. If you're a regular user of the internet, and I assume you are based on the fact you're watching this video on the internet right now, you should have a VPN service. Did you know that your internet provider not only tracks every single website that you go to, but it stores that data, it sells it, all of that junk. A VPN protects your browsing data. It disguises you online so nobody can track where you go and what you do. It provides a level of privacy as well. It keeps people from tracking your location and your movements. It can protect you while you travel, while you do online banking or anything else sensitive on the web. It really is a must and the good news is they are already fairly cheap to get. The better news is that because you're one of my viewers you're going to get one even cheaper. Click the link in the description of the video and you will get a massive discount off the already low monthly cost of NordVPN. They are the number one VPN service in the world and I'm proud to partner with them as I've used them longer than they have been a sponsor. Click the link in the description of the video, get your discount, you will not regret it. Let's also hit the spoiler warning for the video. Today's video will carry a spoiler rating of red, with major spoilers running all the way through The Dragon Reborn, the third book of the series. If you haven't finished the first three books of The Wheel of Time, watch this video at your own risk. You have been warned. So the first thing left off the teaser trailer that we're going to address is a big one to most fans. One of the major characters that was conspicuously absent was everyone's favorite Gleeman, Tom Marilyn. Now before you worry that they've left him out of the show, good news. Tom will be a part of the TV adaptation. Actor Alexandra Willem has been cast as Tom Marilyn. Now, Alexandra is a very good musician, and we know from past statements from the Wheel of Time showrunner Rafe Judkins that he will be playing live music in the show, and it's been described as incredible. Something I'm actually pretty excited for. There's a couple changes that we know of uh, to his character, however. First of all, it appears he will not be in the Two Rivers at the time of Winter Night. While we don't know the circumstances or the reason he won't be in the Two Rivers, it looks like Matt and Rand will meet Tom in an inn on their way to wherever the group is going after they're separated at Shadow Logoth. We also know that he will not spend long with the group, as he really doesn't in the books anyway, or at least in book one. He was a part of block two filming, which means that he is just going to be a part of episodes three and four, as far as we can tell. Another change that we know of that has been met with mostly positive responses is that Tom's main instrument will be the guitar rather than the harp. A while back, Amazon released a short teaser clip of Tom's guitar and how it was put together. Supposedly one of the main reasons for this change is that Alexandra has skill with it and all the different types of music that he can make with the guitar. I'm one of the people that is totally fine with this change is I really just want Tom to be entertaining and the specific instrument that he uses is not super relevant to me. You can make the same statements about a guitar that you could about the harp. Needless to say if you were worried that Tom wouldn't be in the show, don't you worry he will be and from what we've heard he, it looks like he could be pretty amazing. So yes, I speculated that the person in the trailer that was chasing Matt and Rand in the village was a white cloak. But since that's just speculation, I'm not going to count that. We didn't get any shots that we were specifically supposed to know that the characters were white cloaks. That being said, we know the white cloaks will make multiple appearances in the show as early as episode one or two, as they were at the initial table read for the first block. They will also likely show up with the wolves per some leaked video from almost two years ago. This likely means that'll be around episode three or four 
four of the series, which indicates they're going to be around for a good part of the first season. And, well, just like in the books, I think they're going to have an arc across the entire story. We also had leaked pictures and a confirmed casting for Eamon Volda and Jeff from Bornholt for season one of the show. Eamon Volda is, of course, a change as he doesn't show up until much later in the books. So it's interesting that we have a casting for this, but the White Cloaks are easy to combine, so I have no issue with it. But nevertheless, the White Cloaks were completely absent from the trailer, unless my guess that the person chasing Rand and Matt was a White Cloak, which means that we are likely either going to see them in the next trailer or the show is holding them back from the marketing for some reason. But either way, they're going to be in the show. Just like the White Cloaks, the Tinkers were not at all present in the trailer. We didn't get any shots of the wagons, any of the cast, or even a hint that they would be in the show based on the trailer. But if you absolutely love some Tinker clothing, wagons, dancing, you will not be disappointed. The show will have Tinkers. We actually have quite a few of them cast officially from Amazon, confirming that they will be in the show. Narinder Samra will be playing Rain, the seeker for the group of Tinkers that Perrin and Egwene encounter in the books. We also have Maria Doyle Kennedy as his wife, Ela, and then later their grandson and everybody's favorite Tinker with a sword, Aram will be played by Peaky Blinders alum Daryl McCormick. In knowing we have the main named Tinkers cast, there are likely to be plenty of extras as well. There were some leaked photos of some wagons at one point that appeared to be Tinker wagons. I would expect the place we will find the Tinkers is roughly going to be the same as the books. We will see Perrin and Egwene meet them after they are separated from the main party at Shadar Logoth. So, Faldara, I do believe we actually saw in the trailer, although it may not have been clear to most people what they were looking at. But I'm mentioning it here because it wasn't clear and we didn't see shots of the Fort Town like we did Emmons Field or Tarvalin. Yet we know they spent a good deal of the third and fourth blocks of the filming at sites that are what we think Faldara. There were some pictures of the set that were leaked that we can also use to confirm that we will see the fortress city of Faldara. I'm excited to see the CGI of the fortress and maybe another city that's a little less grand than Tarvalin. I really am hoping to see that grittier fortress feel. You can tell they've got experience with war. It's not all shiny like Tarvalin, but maybe a little gritty and more castle or fortress-like. Another thing of note about Faldara is that is likely where we are going to be introduced to Min Farshaw, played by Kai Alexander. We know that she was there for block four of the filming, and she is the actress set to play Man, by the way, which puts her likely around the time that they were filming at Faldara, so that looks like where we might run into her. So Loyal is another one where it's possible we did see him in the trailer, but because we can't be certain, he's on this list. Loyal is a fan favorite in The Wheel of Time, and him not being in the trailer might make you think that he's not going to be in the show. Well, here is another character that we have a confirmed casting from Amazon for, so we know that he will not only be in the show, but according to Rafe, they never even considered cutting Loyal. Hamad Animashan has been cast as Loyal. Now, what is unclear here, however, is where we will meet him. In the books, Rand and Matt meet Loyal when they arrive in Camelon. However, it's looking like Camelon is not going to make an appearance in season one of the show, so they will need to encounter Loyal sometime before they leave at the Waygate. It's possible that Rand and Matt will meet him in the same inn they meet Tom. It's also possible they'll run into Loyal while in Tarvalin. All of this remains to be seen, and the next trailer will hopefully give us an idea and maybe our first glimpse of Loyal. Our final missing person from the trailer was Padon Fane. Now, Padon Fane has a fairly minor role in the first book of the Wheel of Time, but his role is significant. He brings the Trollocs and a Fade to the Two Rivers. He follows the group into Shadar Logoth, where he joins with Mordeth. Later, he's captured in Faldara, following the group through the ways, and he kind of merges somewhat with Mash and Chin, too. He then goes on to play a large role through the rest of the series. So, who is Padon Fane? Well, Pot on Fane is going to be played by Johan Myers, and Johan totally has the creepy eyes factor down and a creepy smile. I think he's going to be great in the role, and I'm super excited to see him on screen. Now, one thing of note on Pot on Fane, we may not see him very much in the first season. This is not confirmed, but there is some evidence that we may only see him in episode one. Again, not confirmed. Uh, that is simply a rumor that we've been trying to track where he was at on set, but anyone that follows the Wheel of Time news will tell you he's actually very difficult to track because he has zero social media presence, so it's possible that he filmed the entire season and we didn't even know it. We still don't know if Pot on Fane's role 
role will remain the same, if it'll be reduced, or if it will be expanded with the TV show. But we do know that Rafe mentioned that Pod on Fane was the very first shot they did when filming the show, which was his wagon coming into the two rivers. He also mentioned that Pod on Fane will make us shiver only the way that he can. So it implies certainly that he's going to have a large role in at least scaring us in the show at least. So those are six things that we did not see in the trailer that we should expect to see in the show. There are some more we could probably hit on, but they are minor. What did you think of the list? Are you as excited as I am to see those things on screen? Let me know in the comments of the video. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. YouTube likes it when you do that, and so in turn, I do too. Check out the Patreon if you enjoy the content and you want to support what I do here. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, peace out. Tinker in the kitchen with a job of work to do. Mistress up above, slipping on a robe of blue. She prances down the staircase, a fancy oh so free. Crying, Tinker, oh dear Tinker, won't you mend a pot for me?